Personal Grooming Part 2. For both. Hair should be clean, combed, and neatly trimmed or arranged in a professional manner at all times. For men, sideburns, mustaches, and beards should also be neatly trimmed. Attention should be paid at all times to oral hygiene. Bad breath is one of a salesperson's greatest enemies. Be aware that the width of the showcase counter is not enough to shield you from losing customers because of a reason as simple to correct as this. Be aware of it at all times. Have mints on hand always. Don't eat onions and garlic at lunch and expect people not to notice. If you're a smoker, be sure your breath, your hands, and your clothing do not carry the odor onto the cell's floor. In this day and age, there are still people who find smoking offensive. Attention must also be dedicated to body odor, good or bad. Yes, that cigarette smoke odor and the Italian restaurant lunch stay with you and in your clothing, but perfume can also be trouble if it's not applied in moderation. Fingernails must be clean and properly groomed. Not only should they be of appropriate length, just short and trimmed for men, short enough to allow for manipulation of clasps, earrings, and other intricate jewelry tasks for women, but they should be clear of day-off hobby residue, painting, yard work, car repairs, etc. Nail polish for women should not be chipped and of a reasonable color. Transparent polish could be the answer because chipping is very difficult to avoid, jewelry, the jewelry you wear has to be clean at all times. Common sense says that your jewelry's appearance sets an example for your clients. Scrub, steam clean, or put your diamond jewelry in the ultrasonic every day before you step onto the cell's floor. Your gold jewelry and gemstones must also be cleaned or polished daily, so as to keep them fingerprint free, polished, and looking their best. What and how you wear your own jewelry should, without saying it, convince your customers to buy jewelry of their own. All in all, Everything mentioned here boils down to basic common sense. As a customer, don't you notice when these guidelines have not been followed at a place where you do business? Of course you do, and that's something you cannot forget when you come to work and take your place on the other side of the counter each day. Take care of your wardrobe, which does not have to be expensive to look nice, and take care of every aspect of your personal appearance and grooming habits. Never lose sight of the fact that you work in a fine jewelry store, a professional lady or gentleman helping professional ladies and gentlemen. Group Exercise 1. Right now take a look at yourself in the mirror. If at all possible, look in a full-length one, are you satisfied with what you see now that you've read the previous list of guidelines? Be honest.